The winter of 2025 to 2026 is shaping up to be anything but ordinary across the United States. Meteorologists are already sounding the alarm, pointing to a season that could bring dramatic contrasts and unexpected challenges from coast to coast. This year the nation is bracing for a winter that promises to test our resilience and adaptability like never before. Expect a nation split in two, while the North prepares for relentless cold snaps, biting winds, and heavy snow accumulation, the South is set to experience a much milder, drier season, with many areas seeing above-average temperatures and little precipitation. For some, it may feel more like an extended autumn than a true winter. But, don't be fooled by a quiet start, the most severe weather may not arrive until January or February, when the atmosphere is primed for dramatic shifts. So, even if December feels calm and uneventful, it's no guarantee of an easy winter ahead. The early tranquility could be the calm before the storm. Major Arctic outbreaks and significant snowstorms could strike with little warning, bringing sudden plunges in temperature and hazardous conditions to millions. These events are expected to become more frequent and intense as the season progresses, especially in the northern states. The northern tier, stretching from the Pacific Northwest through the Great Lakes and into New England, should prepare for a colder, snowier winter than usual. Cities and towns in these regions may see snowfall totals well above average, with the potential for disruptive blizzards and icy conditions. Meanwhile, the southern states, especially the desert southwest and Gulf Coast, are likely to see warmth and dryness dominate. This could mean fewer cold snaps, but also an increased risk of drought and water shortages. This sharp north-south divide will shape everything from daily temperatures and energy use to the path of major storms, which could bring heavy snow to some regions while leaving others dry and unseasonably warm. For those in the cold zone, early preparation is key. Stocking up on essentials, winterizing homes, and staying informed about changing forecasts will be more important than ever. For those in the south, drought and fire risks will be a concern, making water conservation and fire safety critical priorities this season. The coming months will demand attention and readiness from everyone, no matter where you live. Staying alert and prepared could make all the difference. Let's break down the key drivers behind this unusual winter, from shifting ocean currents to atmospheric patterns, and explore what they mean for your region, so you can be ready for whatever this extraordinary winter has in store. This winter, three powerful climate forces are converging to shape the season's weather in dramatic ways. La Nina, record-breaking warmth in the North Pacific, and a strong phase of the quasi-biennial oscillation, or QBO. Each of these drivers has a unique influence, but together, they're setting the stage for a winter that could be both unpredictable and extreme. La Nina is a recurring climate pattern marked by cooler-than-average sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern Pacific Ocean. This cooling shifts the position of the jet stream, a fast-moving river of air high above the Earth, and changes how storms and cold air move across the United States. Typically La Nina winters bring wetter conditions to the Pacific Northwest and drier, warmer weather to the southern U.S., but the impacts can vary widely. Meanwhile, the North Pacific Ocean is experiencing record warmth, with vast areas of water several degrees above normal. This extra heat acts like fuel, adding more moisture and energy to the atmosphere. As a result, storms can become more intense and weather patterns may shift in unexpected ways. The combination of La Nina's cool waters and the North Pacific's warmth creates a sharp contrast, increasing the potential for wild swings in temperature and precipitation. High above in the stratosphere, the QBO is in a strong easterly phase this year. The QBO is a regular shifting of winds that circle the globe at the equator, and its current phase is known to weaken the polar vortex, a swirling mass of cold air over the Arctic. When the polar vortex is weakened, it becomes unstable and can send frigid Arctic air plunging southward into North America. A weaker polar vortex means that the gates to the Arctic are more likely to open, allowing bitterly cold air to spill south and trigger severe cold outbreaks. These cold snaps can arrive suddenly, bringing dangerous wind chills and heavy snowfall to regions that might otherwise expect milder conditions. This year, the QBO's easterly phase is even stronger than last winter, raising the odds of extreme cold especially in the northern U.S. states from the Midwest to New England could see more frequent and intense cold waves, along with the potential for major winter storms. When you combine the effects of La Nina, the unusually warm Pacific, and the powerful QBO, you get a recipe for a volatile and memorable winter. These forces interact in complex ways, making it difficult to predict exactly how the season will unfold, 
But one thing is clear, the potential for dramatic weather is high. The result could be a winter marked by sharp contrasts, mild spells quickly giving way to sudden cold snaps, and periods of calm interrupted by powerful storms. Communities across the country should be prepared for rapid changes and the possibility of significant snowfall and ice. By understanding these major climate drivers, meteorologists can better anticipate the risks and help people prepare for what could be a truly memorable winter season. Next, let's explore how these powerful forces are expected to play out across different regions of the country and what you can expect in your area. The northern U.S. is in for a prolonged chill, with below average temperatures likely from the Pacific Northwest to New England. The upper Midwest, Minnesota, northern Wisconsin and Michigan's upper peninsula could see the harshest cold with at least one major Arctic outbreak. Temperatures may plunge to life-threatening lows, possibly minus 30 to minus 50 Fahrenheit. Cities like Minneapolis, Chicago and Boston should expect higher heating bills and longer cold spells than recent years. These Arctic air masses could linger for days, straining infrastructure and daily routines. While brief thaws may occur, the overall trend is for a colder, harsher winter. Climate models strongly support this outlook, giving high confidence in a frigid season for millions. Residents should prepare for sustained cold and the challenges it brings. In stark contrast, the southern U.S., from the desert southwest to the southeast, will see a much milder winter. Arizona, New Mexico, Texas and the Gulf Coast are set for warmer-than-average temperatures, with Phoenix and Tucson seeing even fewer chilly days. Most of the South will feel more like an extended autumn, though a brief Arctic blast can't be ruled out. Any cold snaps will be short-lived, with warmth quickly returning as the dominant theme. Long-range models agree, the South will be warmer and drier than usual. This means lower heating costs but could disrupt agriculture and worsen drought. Less rainfall is expected, increasing fire risk and water concerns. Southern residents should stay alert for sudden cold but prepare for a mostly mild, dry season. The North's cold will be matched by an active storm track, bringing above-average precipitation to key regions. This means that areas accustomed to harsh winters will see even more intense weather patterns this season. The Pacific Northwest will see frequent storms, with heavy mountain snow benefiting ski resorts and water supplies. These storms will not only enhance the winter sports season, but also play a crucial role in replenishing reservoirs and maintaining the ecological balance. The Ohio Valley and Corn Belt, including Indiana and Ohio, can expect relief from drought as storms bring rain, sleet, and snow. This precipitation will be vital for the agricultural sector, ensuring that crops have the necessary moisture to thrive in the coming growing season. This region will often be the battleground between cold and mild air, fueling significant weather systems. The clash of these air masses will lead to dynamic and sometimes severe weather events, making it a season to watch closely. The Appalachians and Northeast are primed for major snowstorms, especially inland from the coast. These areas should prepare for potential blizzard conditions that could disrupt daily life and travel. Climate models support a wetter, snowier winter for the northern tier. These models indicate a strong likelihood of above-average snowfall, which could lead to both opportunities and challenges for residents and local governments. This is good news for water resources but raises the risk of travel disruptions and power outages. The increased precipitation will help alleviate water shortages but also necessitates robust infrastructure to handle the adverse effects. Frequent storms will be the norm so preparation is essential. Families should ensure they have emergency kits ready, and municipalities must be prepared to keep roads clear and services running smoothly. Residents should expect a stormy, challenging season. With the right preparation and awareness, communities can navigate the winter safely and effectively. While the north gets wetter, much of the southern U.S. faces a drier-than-average winter. La Nina pushes the jet stream north, leaving the south under high pressure and suppressing rainfall. The deep south and southeast, especially Florida, are at risk for drought and increased wildfire danger. California and the desert southwest will also see little rain, raising concerns about water supplies and snowpack. Cities like San Diego and Phoenix can expect a quiet, sunny winter with minimal precipitation. Multiple models agree, dryness will dominate the south. This pattern threatens agriculture, water management, and ecosystems. Vigilance and conservation will be crucial in these regions. 
This winter's setup is primed for powerful storms across the country. The Midwest and Northern Plains face a high risk of blizzards, with strong winds and whiteout conditions shutting down travel. The East Coast, from the Mid-Atlantic to New England, could see intense nor'easters, storms that bring heavy snow, rain, and coastal flooding. Inland areas may be buried under blizzard conditions, while cities like New York and Philadelphia face messy mixes. The Great Lakes region is set for major lake-effect snow, with cities like Buffalo and Erie at risk for extreme snowfall. The South, especially Dixie Alley, will see large rainstorms and damaging winds, though tornado risk is lower. Each region will face unique hazards, from blizzards to flooding to fire. Preparation and awareness will be key to weathering these storms. Seasonal forecasting is complex, with computer models often disagreeing on temperature outlooks. The American and Canadian models predict a cold, harsh winter for the northern U.S., driven by La Nina and the warm Pacific. The European and NMM models see a warmer winter for most of the country. Forecasters weigh these differences looking at atmospheric drivers like the QBO for clues. There's more agreement on precipitation. Most models expect a wet north and dry south. This consensus boosts confidence in the precipitation forecast. The temperature outlook is less certain, but strong signals point to a colder north. Flexibility and staying updated are essential as the season unfolds. With a volatile winter ahead, preparation is your best defense. Update your emergency kits for home and car, include food, water, radios, flashlights, and medications. In cold regions, winterize your home. Check heating, insulate pipes, and seal drafts. Keep snow removal tools ready and vehicles serviced for winter conditions. Equip your car with blankets, warm clothing, and emergency supplies. Always check forecasts and road conditions before traveling. Stay informed with weather alerts and local updates, stock up on essentials before storms hit, and protect pets and livestock from the cold. Proactive steps now will help you face whatever this winter brings. Stay safe, stay prepared, and make the most of the season ahead.